Today, we will make our own leak test suction device for anesthesia machine using a BP cuff and practically go through the leak test. Let's begin. The components you need include a BP cuff, a nozzle which is part of BP cuff, a blocker for the cuff on outer side, I am using a simple needle cap. A connector from ETT size 2.5 and finally an oxygen line cut from simple oxygen mask kit. Firstly, disconnect the cuff from BP apparatus and remove the blocker from outer side. Next, insert the nozzle on one end of the cuff. Make sure it's properly airtight seal. Insert the needle cap on the other side to create airtight seal. Now insert the connector into the oxygen line on one end. Plug the other end of oxygen line to the nozzle end cuff. And we have a working suction bulb now. To check the integrity of suction bulb system, deflate the cuff many times until fully collapsed and block the outlet connector with your thumb. The cuff should stay deflated for at least 60 seconds. And it's a success. So now connecting the connector to the common gas outlet and switching on from circle system to the fresh gas outlet port. Now the machine is off at the moment. The flow meters are off, the vaporizer is off. Now if there is any leak in the system then the negative pressure generated by this suction bulb would drive the ambient air from the breakage point into the circuit and it would inflate the bulb right but if there is no leakage the bulb would stay deflated for 10 seconds so let's see now i am going to deflate it squeeze it many times till it's fully deflated and see for the next 10 seconds it has not reinflated so this is quite a sensitive test and it can detect even a leak of 30 ml per hour right next up i am going to turn on one vaporizer and squeeze the bulb again till it is fully deflated and i am going to see for 10 seconds if it reinflates it has not reinflated so there is no leak in this vaporizer repeat this process for the other vaporizer as well right <laughs> 